What's going on y'all? It's your boy Common Sense and I'm back after somewhat a long period of time, but it's all good. Again, what can I say? Life. But yo, let's go ahead and get into today's topic. And that is, when is it okay to make the first move? What you mean by that, Common Sense? I mean, when you chilling or hanging out with somebody that you find attractive and you're in a situation where it could go either two ways. Either you go for a kiss and she kisses you back or you go for a kiss and fail miserably. And just the thought of possibly failing miserably is what's stopping a lot of guys from even taking that chance. So when we get to that crossroads with a female that we want to be in a relationship with or, you know, get with or whatever, sometimes it's harder than calculus. No pun intended. But yeah, harder than calculus to figure out when the hell to make a move. Especially if the girl's sending mixed signals. You know, like one day she's distant and ain't saying much. Playing hard to get, I guess you could call it. Then the next day she's the complete opposite. That shit is frustrating. But anyways, from my experience and other guys' experiences too, I've come to the realization that it's usually not a so-called right time to make a move. But if I had to suggest a so-called right time, then I would say when it's just y'all two alone for one. I ain't saying it's always gonna work, but when I think about it, you're more than likely to succeed in kissing somebody for the first time in private than you would trying it in public. Cause she'll more than likely want to work up to the point that y'all display affection of that type in public. And second, listen to me. If you make your move and get rejected, which is the worst, especially when you done put in all this time and effort to even get to this point, and it ends up not going the way you wanted it to, that shit height. So at least put yourself in a position where you only look dumb in front of her, just in case. And ladies, I gotta be real with y'all. I don't think all of y'all fully understand what type of pressure is on a guy in that situation. Cause in our mind, it's like, I hope she don't think I'm moving too fast. If I do this, is she gonna think that I think she's easy? She gonna think I think she's a hoe? Just a bunch of crazy shit going through our head, you know? I mean, depending on whether or not he a fuckboy or not. Cause if he is, he don't give a damn. He's ready to get what he came for and move on to the next. But if he a good dude, that pressure of wondering whether or not he should go for it or not, <coughs> oh, it's running all through his ass. That shit is hella nerve-wracking. So in some cases, guys just let that chance pass by and just wait longer to make that move and have these girls that's actually interested wondering, since he hasn't tried to kiss me yet, does he not even find me attractive? Really, nigga? Damn, chill. Maybe he's just trying to be a gentleman about it. Slash nervous as hell. But ladies, if his actions and words towards you ain't on some I just want to be friends type shit, like he's constantly complimenting you, he's taking you out a number of times, prefers hugging you with both arms, not that old one arm half ass hug, he's real playful with you, he's around you and all that, the common sense will tell you that yes indeed, he's just as ready to tongue wrestle as you are. Y'all know nothing about that. But yes, ladies, if that's what the deal is, he's just as ready as you are. But if he a gentleman, he gonna wait until he thinks it's a good idea to see what them lips belt. And ladies, I hear you. Some guys end up waiting too damn long. Why, you say? Because they thinking a little too damn much about the outcome. They worried about getting rejected. So you ladies that are interested and waiting for him to make the first move, hell, just do both of y'all a favor. High voice. Just kiss that nigga first. Yo, I got a feel of what some of y'all gonna say. Yeah. I ain't putting myself in danger of getting rejected. Really, nigga? Well, how you think he feel? To be real, that's really not much to ask for with all the pressure that's on him when he's been trying to pursue you. Now, I ain't saying kiss every nigga to show you that type of attention. I'm talking about the ones that you interested in. The real genuine guy. <laughs> and oh yeah, ladies, his ass might look cool, calm and collected, and engaged in y'all conversation, but if y'all ain't at least kissed each other yet, shit. In his mind the whole time y'all hanging out, he thinking. Am I interested? I'm not really interested. Should I play like I'm interested? But I'm not that interested. But I think she might be interested. But do I want to be interested? But now she's not interested. So now all of a sudden I'm, getting, I'm starting to get interested. And when am I supposed to kiss her? Like I said, thinking too damn much. And even if we decide that yes, this time we are going to make a move, there's still a question. How? Cause there's so many different ways to knock out that first kiss. I mean, should we try some slick shit one day when we hanging out with y'all? So you know what it's like before you kiss somebody and there's all this tension and you just want to ease that tension. So you just, uh, or lady, should he just ask you if you a good kisser? And if you say yes, and he tells you to prove it and y'all just, you know what I mean? 
Or should he pull some old romance movie type shit and just grab you up and go for it? That's usually the one some of y'all prefer. Or expect, I guess. Or picture happening. Because a lot of y'all ladies probably grew up watching Disney movies or romances and whatnot. So probably, you might be expecting it to be this magical scene with fireworks and music playing and shit in the background. Uh-huh, uh-huh, that should sound good, huh? But realistically, unrealistic. Movies hype that shit up for real. But yes, a lot of y'all just expect a guy to just take charge. And just take the kiss. But let's not forget, some guys ain't that damn confident. And if he is that confident, he still gotta feel like the timing is right. Cause we both know ain't shit popping off until you ready. Cause this is a big deal. Cause he either gonna succeed in kissing you for the first time, or his ass gonna get rejected. Making it hella awkward between y'all two for now. Uh, uh, I'm kidding. I'm, oh God. I got you. You're so easy. Fellas, don't you lean your damn lips towards her if you ain't sure she gonna kiss your ass back. I don't even know if I would recommend a sneak attack, cause that could be dangerous. Oh, what's a sneak attack? You know the one that I was just talking about. You know like guys doing the movies, when you just say screw it and go for the kiss. That shit could be dangerous if she ain't ready yet. Cause just getting rejected ain't the worst thing that could happen if you try that shit and fail. Oh, especially if you catch her off guard. You might mess around and get punched all in your shit. All of this. I mean, I tried it once and it worked, but boy, I was more nervous than a porn star in church. Matter of fact, I'm gonna tell you that story, then I'm gonna wrap this up. Okay, so there was this time back in high school when I was walking this girl to class and I was ready to make it official with her. I was feeling her. I felt like she was feeling me too. We text each other back and forth all day, every day. Had long, deep conversations, you know. We hung out together outside of school, ate lunch together at school, and I walked her to like all her classes. And we give each other a hug before she went into her class or whatever. But this one particular day, I was walking her to class and as we got closer and closer to her class, I was just thinking like, you know what? I think today is the day. I'ma stop acting like a bitch and I'ma finally kiss this girl. Y'all, my heart was beating faster than hot damn Usain Bolt run. I was nervous as hell. I don't think I was wearing a white tee that day, but if I would have been wearing one, that motherfucker would have been see-through I was sweating so damn hard. But yo, we get to the door where her class is, and just like all them other dates, we gave each other a hug. That two-arm joint, not with the little space in the middle either. Nah, we was past that one-arm shit. But yeah, this time when I pulled back from that hug, something in my mind said, fuck it, go ahead, boy. So I leaned in and did a sneak attack. Yeah, I kissed her. I did that shit so damn slick, it caught both of us off guard. Yo, that shit was so clean. <laughs> it wasn't long or nothing, it was quick. I mean, it had to be, we was in school. I wasn't trying to get caught by a teacher and get rolled up out this mug. But I did that shit so smooth, y'all. I honestly ain't trying to brag, y'all. And what made it even funnier, we didn't even say anything about it right then. That shit came off so normal. She just went into her class. But yo, I walked the class with the damn Temptations playing in my head. My girl, my girl. I walked to class with that I'm dead nigga stroke, trying to hold back a goofy ass smile, but I doubt it was working. I was hype, y'all, and later on when me and her talked about it, we was cracking up off that situation. We ended up dating for a while, and every now and again we would bring that situation back up and just laugh at it, you know? And to end this, that's the reason that first kiss with somebody is so important. Because it's not just a determining factor of figuring out if that person likes you like that. But if they do, that first kiss will always be a memory that y'all are always gonna share. Wouldn't it be cool later on in y'all relationship and out of nowhere be like, Hey babe, you remember that time I stole your mouth? <laughs> but y'all, there's really no solid way to make you move and it working out. So just use your best judgment. Don't overthink it and don't wait too long. I know it's easier said than done, but it's all a part of the game that we pretty much all have to play when it comes to relationships. Ladies, if you tired of waiting for his turtle pace moving ass, then you do the honors. Fellas, stop procrastinating. Ladies and gentlemen, stop procrastinating. Stop waiting on the perfect moment. Sometimes you just gotta take the moment and make it perfect. This is Common Sense and I'm signing out. Peace.